Hey everybody, welcome to CastersCorner.com. I'm your host Cleo here for another toy of the day. Um, we're, we're getting up there, right? We're, we're getting close to 365. Super, super excited about that. Um, what do we got for you today? Well, first of all, go to CastersCorner.com for a full gallery of this figure, as well as all of our past archives. You can follow us at Casters Corner um, on all social media. You can check out the CornerCast podcast. Uh, new podcast up, I believe they're up... I record some stuff in advance, um, so it's probably up. Um, but go check out our old episodes. Catch up on everything. Uh, we got some great stuff for you. Um, and subscribe. Subscribe to the podcast. Subscribe to this. The more of you that subscribe, the more cool things we get to do. And then I get to share them with you. And that's um, that's been the best part of this, is to kind of share that shared experience of collecting with you. Um, so what do we have for you today? Well, we got this big monster of a figure, the Compound Hulk. Um, our friend MCU collector got to premiere this, uh, reveal this a few months ago, and here he is in our hands. Um, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this was an online Walmart.com exclusive. Um, so he's, I don't believe he's gonna show up in stores. Um, he comes with uh, sets of hands. So you've got the open hands um, and you've got the closed fists for both colors um so you can choose whether you want uh you know two fists or one or two open hands or one um and uh it takes into account you know the storyline where we, we they, they share the body they're split personalities right down the center there uh you can see that we've seen this hulk body before right we've seen it with the red hulk here right it's even the same head sculpts um, if you were to compare the two head sculpts, they are the same. Um, just the paint painted right down the center um, uh, and gave him an eyeball, <laughs> which he did not have because um, he's got the yellow eyes in this one and he's got the gold kind of goldish eyes in this one. Um, and uh, he also shares the body with the previous Hulks we've seen. Um, I think what is really nice, um, we get the deep purple for Hulk a lot, but this bright, really cartoony purple um, is a really nice addition to the figure. Um, but from head to toe, it is the same Hulk body we have seen. Um, this is harder to do all three at the same time. Um, the same, oh, I should flip around, right? We should do it. Red with red and green with green. Um, so we've seen this before, right? We've, we've, we've seen it in a lot of different ways. I think the size and the scale of this, um, of course, the way they've been doing Hulks lately, um, really kind of stand out among other figures. I mean, this is like, this isn't like one of, uh, he's up on a stand. Um, Icarus coming soon to a review. Um, you know, like, like I can hide him almost. This guy takes up my whole palm. Like he is massive. So you get this massive scale figure. Um, it's it's harder, I think, a, as we get deeper into Legends, and, and I've said this before, um, it gets harder and harder to kind of come out with the A-list all the time. We find news ways to do it, updating the sculpts, updating the designs, giving us extra pieces here and there. Um, but at some point, you're going to get into very story-specific characters. We've seen that with the X-Men line. Over the last year or so with two Age of Apocalypse wave and a modern X-Men wave. Um, and and I think in some ways that at times can alienate collectors because they want to collect from a certain era um, or a specific look. And so when you get these very like story specific moments, once in a story compound Hulk, um, this isn't something that's running around the comics on a regular basis. So you get this Hulk, but he doesn't really fit into most displays, right? He's only going to fit in if you're doing a specific display or diorama. Um, so he's great for pictures, right? He poses out really well. Um, even though he's a massive figure, you get a lot of different um, posing options for him, um, which really kind of look impressive. Um, and I mean, I believe I can get him to stand in this pose for sure. Um, and kind of like attacking, beating people up. Um, uses the same body we've seen with Maestro. So you saw all the shots of all the hand ninjas running away from Maestro. Um, so, you know, 
you get a lot of posing options for him. I, I don't think that's in question. I just think it's more the question of, you know, where do you put him? Like he's going to go into a bag with his parts in a box. And I don't know, I would pull him out except for a review or a comparison shot. Uh, or if something else from this storyline popped up. Otherwise, it, it, it's just a review piece for me. Um, or a completion piece for me. Like a, an idea of like, I get every Marvel Legends character. So it's that idea there. Now, big heads up, big thank you to Brian, um, our friend Brian. Uh, who um, found this. So I ordered one. It was $29.99 at Walmart. Um, had to pay shipping because it's under the shipping charge. Um, and then about a month or two later, he texted me and was like, hey, go to Walmart, cancel your order, and get this. Because for some reason, Walmart dropped him to like $19.99. So even with shipping... He was less than what he retailed for. So thank you, Brian. You saved me, you know, about 15 bucks on this guy. Um, and it, it made it an easier sell for me. Because for me, initially, the idea for, of this guy was a harder sell. Because, again, it's very story specific. It is something that I'm probably not going to have out on my display on a regular basis. But because I collect everything Legends, I get almost, almost every figure. We're starting to get to that point where I don't know if I can justify every figure. Um you know, it, it's that period where this was going to be a harder sell for me. You know, I was really happy to see our friend MCU Collector 24 um, reveal it. I was really excited for him. It's a really nice honor to have the team trust you to not leak it and then to share it and then be the one to reveal it. Um, and so, you know, it's, it's one of those things where I wanted to support that. I also really, you know, thought it would be fun to review and... He looked good with my other hulks, but again, I'm not sure where he's going to fit, and I'm going to stop going off on that. But as a figure itself, the paint is gorgeous. The colors are bright um, and really nice. The lines are crisp and clean. Like, there is no kind of... It's not like they two, took two figures and smashed them together. They did really good clean lines on the whole figure. Um, no bleed over on either piece. So it, it's... Just really well executed. That whole torso and crotch piece just really well executed. And the face is immaculately painted and looks really, really good. So, um, yeah, I if you can get him, I'd recommend it. It's a good figure, and if you're a Hulk fan, he's a must-have. So um, you can check out a full gallery of him along with his other Hulk friends um, up on casterscorner.com. You can follow us. We are at Casters Corner on all social media. Check out the Cornercast podcast. Hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to the podcast. Do all that stuff. Um, we really appreciate it. And we like your feedback. So tell us what you, did you get him for 20 bucks? Did you pay the full 30? Did you receive yours yet? Um, are you happy with them? All those questions I would ask anybody that got them. Because I kind of want some feedback on it, on what you guys think about it. So um, with all that, as we say every night, Jackson, we love you. We miss you. And we wish you were here. Um, and for those of you coming back, we'll have an all new toy of the day here on casterscorner.com tomorrow night. Have a good night, everybody. See you tomorrow.